All right, twin force fusion. Today I'm going to be quickly comparing a stock uh, 250 gallons per hour with a 265, A400. And I'll show you uh, also the uh, OEM factory assembly fuel pump that we have in the Ford Fusion Sports and also in some MKZ 3 liters. So off, if I start from the left, uh, this is our OEM. That's what's inside the fuel assembly, okay? Here, and that thing, there's a little uh, cylinder. So this is a, like a 250-ish Denso. Pretty good. We'll be able to be about 500-ish horsepower max to the engine. This is the uh, 265. Uh, slightly better, but it does help. It helped, uh, I want to say thank you, by the way, for Patrick, uh, my Fusion 27. Uh, I have a pump that I purchased from him. I'll show you in a minute. Um, just for uh, shits and giggles, I have here, this is a 400 uh, Walbro fuel pump. You could see it's, it's pretty big compared to, uh, let's say, 265 or 250. Uh, this will not fit R. It's just I had it here at home. And I wanted to show um, how big it is compared to uh, 265. Now, here in the middle of the table, this is 100% OEM. This is brand new. I got it from Rock Auto. I got them uh, just a spare. Actually, I wanted to put the 265 in here, in this thing inside here. That's where the pump is. Okay, a little round thing. It's in here. And here on the table, this is what I purchased from Patrick. This one has the 340 Dirch uh, DW fuel pump. Obviously, he has some below for me, so I'm not going to take it out. And I think it, it did me. I don't know if he tried it, but this was used already in the past. I could smell a little bit of gas in it. Uh, and for good measure, it took the floater out uh, to uh, ship. So that's easy to install here. But uh, I would say it's between, physically, the 340 pump should be between the size of the, the 265 and the Walbro. And dirt short, also I don't have the number, but there is a little filter adapter kit they sell to fit our pump. So that way you don't have to, let's say, shave or cut or trim. Uh, if you contact uh, Dakota or someone else as the technician, when you purchase there, uh, I'll try to find the, the part number and they'll eventually put them on the, uh, the description. Uh, or if uh, my Fusion 25, 27, uh, hear this video, just put them in the comments and I'll pin it so that way it stays there. All the part numbers to get uh, if you want to do the 340 pump. I know Patrick did a test with the 265. He did very well on the dyno. And um, this is what he, he put in the uh, forum for sale. So actually a day after I told him, just, you know, just take it down, I'll buy it. And I had some issue with customs. Uh, but anyway, I decided to pay. Um, they're very robber. I, I just want to tell Canadians, be careful when you purchase stuff. The, uh, the always seems to like to screw us. Uh, give you an example when I purchased the $20 a AFE uh, PCV uh, little tube in the past, they charged me a hundred bucks for custom for a little plastic 20 bucks. So that's 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 something we have to deal with. Uh, the uh, the NAFTA agreement doesn't seem to apply to us, but um, I'm looking forward also. I will eventually I, I'll get the uh, unorthodox pulley. I already told Patrick I'm gonna be testing up on the dyno. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm, this video is already too long, so I'm just gonna glance one more time at the pumps. On, and uh, that's all for me. Uh, I know it's nice outside right now, uh, but winter's coming uh, and snow and all that good stuff. So I'll put some videos on, but uh, I'm still working on some compilations and uh, hopefully early spring I'll go back to the dyno and validate the pump and the uh, the pulley so on that note thank you take care
and uh, hopefully talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.